Hey, how's it going? Well, I deleted my last two videos because I realized that they came off kind of petty. And uh, the second one, not as much, but if I deleted the first one, the second one doesn't make any sense. And there's no context. The first one was the context for the second one. So I, I thought I'd try to readdress some of that. I'll also try to just talk a little bit about what's going on with me. Um, uh, and it's still slightly up in the air. Everything just keeps changing as far as that goes. Uh, my brother is almost surely not going to be moving into uh, that new place because they have draconian rules uh, as to how you're supposed to keep it. I mean, pages and pages long. All these ways you're supposed to keep everything. And it's just like, wow, this is, I mean one's whole reasoning for wanting to have your own space is so you can do with it what you want but this is just like so restrictive I mean you you, wow and my brother had sensed that when he went there he, he liked it but then he, he got this kind of creepy feeling about the place and uh, and it was uh, it was warranted because that's those are the kind of rules they have there and so it's going to be plan B, and my brother will move into here, and I'll be moving out. And what's likely is, instead of me going to uh, some small town here in in Washington State, I'm probably going to move into one of the, uh, uh, when it becomes available, there is a uh, trailer slash mobile home uh, at the mobile park that uh, of uh, Hector Defendi. And uh, I'll be, it's going to be a very, uh, it's a very good deal. It's, it's a, it's, it's an incredible, incredibly low amount for rent. And uh, generally it has the climate that I want. I'm not a fan of the fact that they've got some of the poisonous insects and other stuff that I didn't have to worry about here. Um, or it'll be less likely for me to want to wear sandals, which is what I wear all the time. Um... You know, but I'll just have to be a little bit more careful, I guess, and really learn that element about the climate. But um, you know, and it's it's again, it's not a small town. Uh, uh, Charleston is is not a small town, but uh, that's going to be quite the trip. But something uh, happened yesterday that was was, was very cool. Um, and I sure wasn't expecting it. Um, uh, we traded my truck in for a, a minivan. Uh, and, and surprisingly, we got a pretty good amount for the, for the truck. So um, I, I sure wasn't expecting that, and that's awesome. I was worried that I was worried about how the truck would make it out there and can we get a decent canopy that's tall enough that I can carry, you know, at least most of the stuff that I want? Because um, that's a long trip. And uh, this is uh, this is 12 years newer than the truck was. So, uh, and it's, it's nice. It's very nice. Very nice. And I, I just wasn't expecting something like that. And so now I'll have uh, it's it's a Kia Sedona, and uh, I'm really really surprised at that. Uh, price was decent, price was really decent too. So good trade in, good price, and it's it's running like a champ. It's uh, it's unexpected. So I have. Uh, I have a way of safely getting, making that trip, so um, the, the way that things are lined up for me at this point is, uh, is I've certainly never had this kind of opportunity before, and I'm, I'm not going to uh, turn it down, that's for damn sure, so, um, and then I'll be living right by friends and uh, good working vehicle and will allow me to 
socialize a bit more. I'm a bit worried about the culture, though, as far as, you know, it's, it's kind of in the South, and it's, uh, I'm going to probably run into that, well, bless your heart kind of thing, you know, which means, you know, bless your heart means fuck you, uh, fuck you, you know, go fuck yourself. So, um, or, you know, well, aren't you a little piece of shit or something like that, you know? Uh, so I, I'm, I'm most likely going, 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 I'm most likely going to have to get used to that kind of a, a, a mindset. And that's going to be a little bit, that's going to be a little bit rough. Um, but, you know, everywhere has their problems, so. Um, and, and Charleston is big enough, and I've looked into a lot of just things that people do, and, and there's a lot of, there's a lot of places that have karaoke. Um, there are several gay bars. There, uh, <clears throat> and there's a lot of neat things to see in that city, so. And in Charleston, they have the, uh, thankfully, they have the no smoking in uh, bars uh, law. So may not be statewide, but they there's at least places in South Carolina that, uh, you know, cities that don't have it. So I, mean, I don't know, maybe it's countywide. I don't know exactly, but that's cool. I like that. <clears throat> and... Uh, So there's some potentially very cool things coming up for me. Um, could potentially be awful things, but then it'll be a learning experience again. But, I mean, that's just how that goes. So, having said all that, um, um, and, oh, I should also state that, you know, it's going to be probably a couple months and we're going to be doing a lot here at the house to get this. You're going to have a bunch of garage sales and take a lot of stuff to Goodwill and all of that. I really get all the furniture and everything uh, uh, parsed down to, uh, uh, you know, weeded down to just the bare essentials. So, you know, once the house sells, it's, you know, whoever's still out here at the house, is it's easy to uh, to take care of what needs to be taken care of to get the stuff out of there. So new people can move in. So, um, but what I, what I was talking about in my, those, those last two videos that, uh, Uh, we're going on about uh, you know not being able to open stuff in a new tab is uh, one of the things that worries me is how the internet has changed our way of thinking our way of categorizing information our way of remembering things and I think this sort of thing has more of an effect on us than we think um, just consider how the differences, the small uh, uh, differences between men and women when it comes to, to thinking on you know, a biological level, the tiny, 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 minute differences. And yet the outcomes can be huge out of those tiny differences. When we have these tiny differences that are changing in the way that we categorize information, they can have very large effects in the end. And I think some of this contributes to the polarization that we're seeing. Because, you know, when, when you can't count on something you saw 10 minutes ago being the same when you go back to it again, yeah, we have a problem. I think it's a serious problem. I think it's something that contributes to our uh, to how we're becoming so polarized, and the more that this happens, I mean, on these these apps are designed that way. All this stuff we're getting, people are getting used to this mindset, and this mindset is that of, uh, well, you know, it's close enough. You know, the, it could look, and you could you could go back to something, and you're like, well, I thought I remember. Well, whatever, it's close enough. 
that will allow us to believe things that may not even be true at all uh, when you finally look at it again. Or it might be true in five minutes. Or, you know, that sort of thing. It is fucking up some things about the way that we think. I mean, again, like I said in the, that second video, it's already been proven that the internet has has changed society significantly. Many, many studies on this. Um, yeah, even think about, uh, you know, the, these and remembering phone numbers. How often do you dial your friend's phone numbers uh, manually? Um, when it comes to when we want to... Uh, when we want to... We were always like, well, I don't really have to think about that because I can just look it up on Google and uh, I can just Google it and find this and, and I don't really have to think about all, all these things. You don't have to memorize this or that. It's... There are some elements where it's kind of making us lazy. Now, we're able to do things we weren't able to before, but it's almost seeming like those things that we weren't able to do before was be worse to each other than we've ever been, but, you know, whatever. Um, <laughs> but I'm, I'm concerned about how that's affecting us. Um, I, I don't think we should be continuing to push this idea of, uh, uh, of, except, I don't think we should accept the idea that, well, you know, uh, what we remember happening 10 minutes ago uh, might not, you know, it, it might not be accurate and it doesn't matter if it's not accurate or it doesn't matter if it, if the details change or if the order of things change or, you know, that sort of thing. I, I mean... <clears throat> It, it, I just it just seems like that could create mental problems as far as I'm concerned. I just I, I don't know how to stress enough that how how negative I think that could be. Um, <clears throat> 